Hello, I got some lovely friend mail today, and I got a tiny haul. A couple things just to show you. So, I got this card, right? Oop. and it's homemade. See, it says sending happy thoughts. Homemade. Beautiful. And made with love by Elizabeth Sanchez. And it says, it's gorgeous, right? I love this. She's so so pretty. It says, hello, Jen. First, I want to thank you for your kindness, sending me some of love mail without anything in return. God always says to help. Be kind to others without wanting a thing in return. Be sees, he knows, and that's what truly matters. But still, I wanted to send some of my mixes, and that was very kind of you. And it says, enjoy. God bless. And these mixes are gorgeous. I, I The mixes lately from all these ladies, I mean, oh my gosh, just beautiful. Yeah, let me get them out of the thing first, and then I'll show you them. This so oh, it says live, laugh, and love, and then it has an Easter egg here, and some here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so we have Lovely Bunny by Queenie Nails. Look at that. Oh my god, I love it. It's beautiful. These you ladies are so, oh my gosh. They're so creepy. Oh wow, yeah, I'm in heaven here. There's some iridescent hexes, some Mylar. I love Mylar. I'm sorry, it makes. A whole difference you know when you have mylar in your max it really does it has such a beautiful like shine like a shimmer to it it really does that is lovely bunny so cute so cute then we got let's see uh, yeah we'll do this one purple rain these are all beautiful gorgeous mixes I love metallic colors now I just have to get some <laughs> so I can make some mixes, different kinds of mixes. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, when you open things up, it's like so much. Look at that gorgeousness in there. And that is called Purple Rain. That is beautiful. And the last mix, but there's a couple other things there. Spring flowers. This is beautiful. Look at that little cheeky with a rainbow and a rainbow in the belly and a flower in the head. That's so cute. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm gonna open this up too. That one is spring flower. I was watching this reminds this mix reminds me. I was watching this nail art. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna where she took the larger, she put like a she marbleized the 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 nail, put matte on it, and then she took like those large iridescent hexes and she had like a silver hexagon spangle in the middle and she took the larger hexes the large iridescent ones and she put it right around it like a flower so you know when you turn your hand you could see the flower shimmer looks like a you know a flower and because the mat the background the marbleized part of it was a mat it looked actually really really pretty I wanted to try something like that and then I don't know this is sand I think this is sand. I think. Yes. This beautiful. This is gorgeous. Beautiful, like pinkish. Like a watermelon color. 
That is gorgeous. And then this beautiful Mylar. Who doesn't love Mylar? Gorgeous. So thank you so much, Queen Elizabeth, for your beautiful mixes. I absolutely adore them. I love them. And thank you for doing that. You did not have to send me any mixes. You didn't have to send me anything. And I am really grateful for what you have sent me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love getting mixes. Who doesn't love getting mixes? Oh, my God. I have a ton of mixes, and I still love getting more mixes just because I love to see what people do. So, on that note, I have a tiny little... I thought I had another polish. I guess not. I don't know where it is. I think my daughter might have hawked it on me. Yep. I can't find it. All right. So I went to Rite Aid and they had a little sale going on. This wasn't on sale. I wanted to try it though. It is the Julie G uh, Gel Effect Plumping Top Coat. Um, this, I'll show you. Like I did this. This is top coated with, um, with that stuff on it. It actually is thicker so like if you add one layer okay it actually dries fairly quick too so um you add one layer and let's say over let's say this whole bottom half you kind of dent it in it, it, it i've used such v it's nothing like a normal top coat it's you could fill in gaps and fill in holes and do that and that's what this does it actually um levels it out and almost like a layering gel type of thing I don't know how else to explain I love it it's it's absolutely gorgeous and it's perfect for like this is um a textured I don't like textured um polishes I don't like that bumpy looking look that's just me so this is a texture polish and I put this top coat on it and it was only one layer of it and it's absolutely gorgeous it didn't need two layers and normally you need like two layers of polish unless you have a really thick top coat but yes I was very excited about that so I love it this is awesome I think this one is $3.99 in any drugstore Rite Aid um, I don't think CVS has it I think Rite Aid does I'm not sure but I love it I love it I love it I love it and then I got her Julie G, the 9 to 5. I love Julie G polishes. I really do. They are gorgeous. I have the next one I'll show you. I'll explain. This is 9 to 5. And it's a beautiful, light, peachy, creamy color. It's gorgeous. I love it. I didn't have anything like that, so I got that. So this next one I have, I have it in... She used to be with uh, Jessie's girl. Um, if that's, I don't remember how that all that went, but yes. So that's where you get, you know, Robin Moses. I know you've all seen her videos where she has Firefly, right? This is the Firefly, and that's where I first found out about Jessie's girl it was through Robin Moses, and I love this polish. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful gold iridescent well this is just like a gold tint polish that's all it is well a while back I actually found you know Julie G makes the same thing and I know she was connected with um Jessie's girl company as well and then she went on her own so that was that and it was getting a little thick I put polish thinner in it and I mean it's this is still good but I couldn't help myself because I have another bottle of this in my drawer and then I have this one, and then I found this, because these are normally $3.99. So I found this one for $1.99, which I'm going to take this off, too, because I hate having these stickers on there. And hers is called um, My Private Palace. And this is just a gorgeous, beautiful top effects type of... Uh, you put it on white or you could just put it over your nail and have a gold shimmer I love this pot this is the best polish either one of these 
gorgeous. So I bought another one, even though I have them. And then, like I said, I don't like texture polishes, but I went and I saw this was $1.49 and I love it. Oh my God. It has like a orangish reddish tint. That's it. No green, no nothing, just that. And I absolutely fell in love with it. It's called Sugar Cloud number two. So it's on sale for $1.49 and I don't, like I said, I don't like this texture because it shows you texture on the bottle. It's like, I don't like it. But that is the one I showed you. This one right here has to be one of my favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. So I did that. I'm doing a design on this one. Yeah, I started it. I started this one that I did. I am not done with it. Obviously, it's all matted still. Make it some nail art. I did this one and this one. So I did here. Let me put it in the nail thing so you could see it better. What it looks like. I did this one. It's a one stroke. But I goofed. I goofed over here with the brown. As you can see, there's like little lines, and it's supposed to be more like this. So I had to, yeah, I ended up goofing on this petal. But I used orange and pink, so they kind of blend a little bit better. But I did this one. And then I did this one. I was doing some spring. Um, designs and I wanted something where I want to paint but I wanted it to be a little bit of a 3d effect so if you could see the purple flowers are flat as you could tell you could see how the yellow flowers are like 3d ish and that's the way I did it the purples are flat And that was, I think that was it. I, I wasn't done. Because it's been hard for me to get a second to do anything. So, and then I swatched my Easter, my Happy Easter mix. But I goofed.